Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So students, a very warm good morning to all of you. So are you all ready for today's topic? Today we are going to learn something very different and in a different manner. So before wasting our further time, let's start our today's topic. So this is for class 7. This video is for class 7 and the book is Honeycomb. So I hope you all must be having these textbooks along with you. So as when so as whenever the video will progress, whenever I will be teaching you, you need to keep your textbook handy with you near yourself so that you may relate to it. Now, today I'll start something with a riddle and something with an activity. Now, I have something in this image. Now, I have pasted four images of different animals and birds. So, I hide my treasure in my ground. My tail is big and fluffy. If you spot me in a tree, please don't call me so roughy. What am I? Yes, I hide my treasure in the ground. My tail is big and fluffy. So it is deer or kangaroo. Yes, it's kangaroo because he is hiding his baby under in the lower part of his stomach. If you spot me in a tree, please don't call me so roughy. Does rabbit go to the tree? No, they don't. Just cat lines the tree? Almost yes, but they don't. So the answer is squirrel. I have two long ears and I don't walk. I hop, hop, hop. Yes, the correct answer is rabbit. Now, I have fur, but I'm not a coat. I have claws, but I'm not a bird. I like to climb trees, but I'm not a child. I'm a common pet, but I'm not a dog. So the correct answer is cat. Exactly. So today we are going to discuss something about animals. Does it ring a bell? Are you all excited? Let's study. So before we proceed further, I want all of you to guess the author's name. Guess. Okay. Kit Cat and Tick. So Tick, Kit Tick or Kit Green. It's cat trick. Yes, trick. So the correct answer is kit right because it was kit and right. Tick right. So the author is kit right. So before we proceed further, let's learn something about the author. Now, the, our story, the title is the dad and the cat and the tree and it is written by kit right. Now kit right poet or author was elected as a fellow of the Royal Society of Literature in 1997 when you all weren't even born. Now, Royal Society of Literature is a very, you know, closed and prestigious society where very famous authors and poets get selected. Now, Poets and Children's author Kit Wright was born in 19... 1944 and he was educated at the world premier university which is known as Oxford University. This shows how much brilliant and a learned person he was. He lectured in Canada before working as an education officer at the Poetry Society in London for a period of five years and was a fellow commoner in creative art at Langridge University. He was also awarded as an Arts Council Writers, awarded in 1985. So, this was all about the author. Now, Dad and the Cat and the Tree. So, in this poem, we are having three main characters. So, the first character is the Dad. He is the first character. The Cat is the second character. And the Tree is the third character. Have you ever seen a cat climbing a tree? Sometimes a cat may climb too high and get stuck in the tree. Now, once she has climbed, now she cannot come down without help. So you need someone to help you so that you can come down. How would you help it? Surely, not like that in the poem. Now what he is going to do, we will study further how he helps the cat to come down the tree. Is dad a good climber? You need to think whatever efforts that will be putting. Does those efforts make him a good climber? What were his plans? 
read the poem to find out more so students are you all excited for reading the poem finding out the question to the answers yes let's proceed the topic now today we are starting the poem the dash the cat and the tree so always remember in this poem we are having three characters now this morning a cat got stuck in a tree that said right just leave it to me now what is the rhyming scheme got just it's no rhyming scheme but tree and me is a rhyming scheme so now the author is simply narrating the poem saying that this morning a cat he she got stuck in a tree dad was now saying bossing just leave it to me fine the tree was a wobbly the tree was tall mom said for goodness sake don't fall now tree was wobbly yes students i have also made videos earlier in which wobbly we have discussed so many times remember the bicycle and the friend po story poem story yes so wobbly means one who is not firm in the ground one who keeps on shaking yes so wobbly means shaking which is not firm in the ground it is not steady and firm the tree was wobbly although it was shaking it was tall mom said for goodness say don't fall now mom is saying don't fall to either cat or father it is not yet sure so she is the mother and she is saying either to the father because he might climb a tree or either to the cat who is already sitting on the tree fall scoffed dad <laughs> now he is coughing a climber like me child's play this is and you wait and see now fall mai kyu girunga <laughs> this is known as coughing laughing in a very humorous and absurd manner and a climber like me i will fall i am such a good climber and a climber like me will fall no way not even possible this is a child's play now child's play means very very easy i you know it's a easy task you wait and see now just wait and see it's bas bahut 2 minuton ka khel hai i'll go climb and i'll come back just wait and see he got out of the ladder from the garden shed it slipped he landed in the flower bed now students now he went immediately to the garden shed now whenever uh, you know in western countries we have seen this concept of garden and garden is there then garden shed is there where they are keeping tools furniture old things so he went to that shed and then he brought the ladder out of the shed now what happened when he was keeping that led ladder across the tree like this see like this then the ladder it immediately slipped over here he landed in the flower bed now flower bed means whenever a person dies you know he is kept upside down the flower bed so there are so many flowers small shrubs in the garden and the ladder slipped and the father also landed in the flower bed as you can see that how he is lying on the ground on the flower bed fine now before we proceed further let's think an answer now dad thought that he was infallible means wo kabhi gir nahi sakta he was an expert climber he was a superhuman or none of the above what do you think dad ko kya hona chahiye he thought that he was a expert climber but actually he wasn't because ladder slipped and he fall so b is the correct answer dad was planning to bring dash down squirrel or rat kuch bhi nahi then it was a cat now students just now we have studied at least four stanzas of the poem i'll be showing you there are different words which i have prepared in order for you for the word exposition now i want you students to go through these words 
think of synonyms and think of antonyms now synonyms are the words that are having the same meaning whereas antonyms are the words that are having different meaning now wobbly now wobbly means shaking so different of wobbly same meaning is shaking and antonym is firm yes okay now tall tall is long yes and long opposite short yes wait okay then wait is stay and antonym is go funny funny is humorous who 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 it's humorous whereas it is serious yes serious very stern very serious now let's proceed further never mind said dad brushing the dirt dhool jharna of his hair and of his face and in trousers and his shirt so he was all filled with dirt because he just fell down on the flower bed so he immediately stood up and then he was brushing brushing the dirt of his hair of his face of his trousers and of his shirt yes face hair trousers and his shirt we'll try plan b now he is having plan b stand out of the way hacho 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 yahan se hacho mom said don't fall again okay now see now plan the first plan of the father he was not at all successful because the ladder was fallen down he also fall on the flower bed now again he was thinking of any other strategic plan what was that plan is not clear to us yet but yes now mother is warning dad okay don't fall again okay okay now let's see what is the plan whereas cat is still there sitting on the tree fall again said jack funny joke fir se girunga aise joke mat karo then he swung himself up on a branch it broke now second plan of the father was also a failure how he said very smartly don't joke i won't fall this time but then when he swung himself up on a branch like over here that branch it broke from here now dad landed well up back on the deck mom said stop it or you'll break your neck now as we can see in this image now he was swinging and this thing is also detached from the tree now he fell down again but not on the flower bed this time he landed on the wallop wallop means passage that goes to the house jo rasta jo marg ghar ko jata hai that was wallop mom said stop it enough is enough now or else again you will stand and fall and this time you are going to break your neck fracture your neck damage your body parts so now mom was again asking dad not to climb and he was refusing think and answer students why did plan b fail according to you what would be the answer because the branch it broke away yes it got detached from the tree yes how does father react at this like how does father think it is is it a funny joke he needs it seriously he obeys her advice or he waits for the right way yes he finds it a funny joke and these all are incorrect options i hope the concept is clear to you students up until here so we shall move forward okay now rubbish said dad now we'll try plan c so c students he is having another plan known as plan c easy as winking now winking means aankh maarna like this na easy as winking to climb a ladder like me it is just easy as climbing a ladder like me this bar so i'll be pakka getting success it is a very easy task like this he was winking and he wanted to climb a ladder like 
Then he climbed up high on the garden wall. See, now he is standing up high on the garden wall. Guess what? This time he didn't fall. Yes, because we can see he is standing straight over here. That is next to the tree. He gave a great leap and he landed flat. Now leap means lumbi si chalang. Lamba long jump. Now from here, dad was standing over here. And from here he gave a great long leap means jump. In the crook of the tree trunk. Now trunk is the this part of the tree. Yes. The broadened part of the tree right on the cat. Now he jumped on the trunk and then he was standing next to the cat. The cat gave a yell Whoo! and sprang to the ground. Pleased as punch to be safe and sound. Now when father came near the cat. Instead of doing something, she sprang to the ground. See, we can see over here how cat is coming down. Let me use another color. Yes. Now see, she is coming out of the ground. She was pleased as punch to be safe and sound. So it's smiling and smirking, smug as can be. But poor old dad still stuck up the tree. Now cat has come. First issue is solved. How cat has come down on the ground. Mother is also there standing. Child is also there. But how will dad come down? He is now stuck on the tree. Poor dad because now he is helpless. Poet is using poor dad to show that how helpless he is. So now it is smiling and smirking smug as can be. Because the mother and the daughter of the dad, now they are smiling and thinking, Ab kya ho sakte hai? Now poor dad, he has gone. Okay, but cat to ni chutar gay. Now how will dad come down? Because he is still stuck on the tree. Now, think and answer students. Any two pairs of rhyming words that we can found from the extract. Okay. What are the two pairs of rhyming words that are having same meaning towards the end? So what can be said and done? Heap and weep. Leap. And heap. Yes. Does father lose all his hope of bringing the cat down? What do you think? Does he lose his hope? Whenever he was falling on the ground, he fell the first time. Then he thought of plan B. Then again after plan B failed, he fell again. And again after third, like he succeeded in the third plan. So did he lose his hope at all? No. So what quality does this show of the father? Like what do you think? He is a strong man who is hoping for positive results. He is a determined man. Yes or no students? Yes. Now pronounce these words. I have pasted three different words. I want all of you to observe the way I am pronouncing. How grammar I am using. What are the phonetics that are used by me. Fine. Ridicule. Now this is word as ridicule. 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 Okay. Now. Wobbly. It's wobbly. Wobbly. Wobbly, wobbly. Now, waloop. Now, it's not waloop. It's not walop. It's in waloop. It's waloop. Loop. Loop. Waloop. Yes, it's waloop. So, I hope you are able to pronounce these words perfectly as the way I am pronouncing them. So now students, let's recapitulate whatever we have studied about our today's poem. The cat, the judge and the tree. So how did you find the poem humorous? Was it funny for all of you? Yes or no? Yes, it was humorous. What is the moral of the poem? What did you poem from this poem? Like dad was the main character. And cat was the main character. But cat didn't do anything. She was only there sitting on the tree. But it was who? Dad was the main character because 
he tried so hard for the cat to come down and he even risked his life so moral of the story is don't lose hope always try and succeed in your life fine students now make sentences on smiling dad and tree so these words are used from the passage now you have to make sentences from these three words so let's go like i want different sentences of smiling my mom was scolding me because i was smiling unnecessarily okay i was getting scolding for teacher because i was smiling loudly in the class yes and i met my neighbor on the street and i saw her she was smiling at me fine now dad my dad is the best dad in the world okay rahul's dad brought him a new toy from usa and third is my dad was scolding me because i wasn't finishing my homework now tree mangoes are grown in the mango tree i have a banyan tree in my ground and let's plant trees that are good for the environment and oxygen see how many different types of sentences we can make from these words so you also need to try making such different sentences from one word it will also help you in increase your thinking capacities and it will also help you in improving your concepts fine students i hope the concept is clear to all of you so let's come to the homework part now since dad was the main character in this poem so there's a very different homework for all of you what you need to do is paste a picture of you and your dad i need two pictures one of your one picture should be of your dad and second was be of you and write your best moment you ever shared with your dad fine about my father you need to complete this worksheet about my dad how in the poem we saw dad was giving us a very hoping side of thing like he was very lively he was having good intentions the cat was also there he tried to save the cat also similarly the dad would have has having a good intention he tried to save the life of the cat by risking his life this shows us happiness optimistic and good about good things about that we get to know so similarly you need to complete this worksheet that's all from today so students if you have any doubts related to end today's topic kindly be feel free to talk comment in the chat box meanwhile like keep on liking sharing and subscribing my videos for better educational videos till then goodbye take care keep be healthy keep on studying hard and i'll see you in my next video thank you students bye bye